Welcome to Morning Coffee with Frankie Carey. Hmm. On a nice crisp fall day in October. Well, Carrie, what uh, what are we going to see on the video today? Well, this week we are still kind of in that back stair area. Um, Frank is... We're going to have another floor plan with where we're working? Sure, I'll throw that in there. But we're back there, but this time we're... We're working on that landing right above the stairs coming up from the basement. That floor was rotten. We were stepping <laughs> from a walk board onto the threshold of the door. So we're showing us replacing the, oh. the, the floor joists and we use the walk board <laughs> uh, and put that in there. That's um, true. The uh, I remember now I was putting in floor joists so I could eventually jack up the rest of the stairwell right and they're just because there was nothing to oh no <laughs> there was nothing to jack against no because there, there was wasn't. no floor it on wasn't the first floor right and so that's that's the area we're still in um and there was a lot of rotten floor um, in that area so that's that's where we're at this week but we're still still has to do with option four <laughs> That area, I mean, the powder room, that half bath, all of that is in the same area and all had that water issue from that little flat roof. Okay. Well, so. welcome to the uh, Sunday morning video. Yeah. Have Enjoy. A good yeah. And we are on the first floor. Frank took out the joist that went there. Well, what was left of it wasn't really doing anything. So, trying to save some of the trim. Yeah. How was that? Oh, that's pretty. More trim, but I don't think it'll be used again. Nope. See, I gotta be careful. No, that duct falls on me. Yeah. They used these clay bricks, very, very weak bricks. If they get wet, they just disintegrate. And as you can see, that brick wall is not doing very good. It just needs a little touch up. We'll fix it. No worries. You can see right there that little slot where the floor joist goes in. Oh, oh, look at that. Another panel. Those panels span the brick wall. We have those on the upper floor. And this is just trying to clean the debris off. And this is the foundation. I mean, this is the foundation wall. All right. How thick well, is it? This is very solid. I don't. Have right. To worry about that's what two two feet thick. Uh, yeah. Pretty close. Yeah. It's not. Some of those rocks are moving though. Some of them are moving. Uh huh. That one on the edge. Yeah. Not there. The one like where you're sitting. That one. Yeah. Oh, it's it's because it's interior brick that got wet. Some of the. Some of this really soft clay brick is worse than other soft clay brick, that's for sure. This thing <clears throat> awful. They never expected this at seawater. You like how the, uh, the arch ones are just hanging above me? But now I gotta get this joist out of its slot. And then we'll put a new one in and put a little bit of a floor back here. Ish. Yeah, they never expected this to see any water because that's these are not exterior. So we'll figure it out. Put real brick back in there. 
just in case it ever sees water again. It's always some. Well, maybe we'll be able to slide the 2 ice coil in and drop it in. I hope so. But now I'm going to cut out some floor that Carrie's standing on. I'm going to cut almost to that cabinet. Okay. You see what I mean? The door. Yeah. Stop me before I get to the door. You, you came with this away. Yeah, I know. I was like, hmm. That was interesting. Yeah. You have about a foot to go. Okay. Yeah. If you want to the closet door. Yeah. Seemed a little rotten. Yeah. How much left to go? No. Nope. Or the bricks. Now there's a hole in the floor, Karen. You? Yeah, there's a big hole in the floor. But the hole was already there. <laughs> now we can. You couldn't step in this area, so. Now you can just see it. Yeah, now... It's not as dangerous. It's not as dangerous because you can actually see the hole. And well, and stuff's not going to fall on you. Well, it shouldn't fall on you. All right, now I'm going to cut this joist over on this end and wiggle it loose. All well, right. it didn't fall down. No. But it's not up there very good, so. Oh. Uh. No. It still has some wood left in it. Yeah, it does. Heavy. Well, yeah. Now I just got to get the end out. Maybe work on getting that one out. Put three tube 12s in there. And we can put a little bit of a floor back before. Yeah, that'll be good. Gives you an idea of the damage underneath. When you get to the good wood, you know it because it doesn't want to move. Hmm. You could probably just move those two bricks there on the end and it'll yes. come right out. Yep, I agree. Still no uh, termites there, I see. That's good. Hardwood into a softwood. Water. Water and time. Mm hmm.
that's one of the reasons why we want to get all this debris off the floor because it holds moisture so we're trying to get that all cleaned up yeah but we'll get it one way or one another way. Any termites? I don't see. Nope, not yet. Awesome. <laughs> that one's just. We call it mush. Yeah. Just like that, the pockets are empty. Got room for 32 by 10 and 12 now. Yep. Aha! Uh -huh. You find a termite? Termite. Yeah. Find some, finally. Where are they at? There's two of them. They might be just scouts. Nice. Right there. There's a few of them. So, we know there's some. Okay. Well, we know we didn't get rid of all of them, so. Sorry about the shadows, but we're in a, the very dark part of the house as well. That's a pretty thick floor right there. Two inches. Because it's. That's a real inch, and that's a real inch. None of that three-quarter that they call an inch. Nowadays, that's five-fourths. Mm -hmm. And these are the square nails that were holding that tongue and groove. Big square nails. Now, how they did the subfloor at an angle, that's actually more structural or gives better support, does it not? It well, gives, it gives better support. Yeah, and you don't have any place that it could ever have a hole all the way through. Well, that's true. That's... Since it's at an angle, you'd never match seams. Ah. So I don't know if it's structural or if they just didn't want it to match seams. Yeah. That, ever. Yeah, that subfloor right there. Yeah. Yeah, that diagonal stuff that I was talking about because the floor went this way. Well, we've done been to loads. Three boards. $131. dollars <sighs> That's crazy. At least we don't have a lot of lumber to buy for the modern house. <laughs> Maybe. M Maybe. And it's not true dimensional either. No, but it's in the basement. Mm hmm. I am not afraid to use today's lumber in the basement. In the ba it's in the basement. So, but. We got three of them to go in Where the old one was like. those there three, were three before that we that they're the remnants of it just falling apart. Seeing if I can get it in there. We're seeing if we can get it in With there. How long they have to be before I can't get them in there. All that right. kind of stuff. So should be interesting. In a perfect world I'd be able to use all the thing but it only really has to have a inch and a half Hang bearing up. surface oh well hopefully we can but use... i want to get as much as i can well and of yeah. course i still got to cut the nails off yeah so we have a little work to do we're just seeing i want to build a temporary floor 
Well, yeah, so we don't fall through. Yeah, that's a good idea. We had that board over the sketchy it's just floor. It's a walk board. It's a walk board, and it seems a little more sketchy now that the other stuff is down. Yeah, it would have been the same <laughs> if you would have fallen through the floor, but. Yeah. It feels better. Yep. All right. or I should say Frank got all the nails cut off so that will make it easier to get that in there. I'm going to have to cut this. I'm just trying to figure out how much you have, much to, cut have to cut it. Okay. I don't want to cut all of it. No, we don't. Okay. How much are you going to have to cut off? Seven inches. Not terrible. We got it in place though. And it fits way down there in that slot. It looks like almost a full two by four, twelve. So it's a little bit shorter, but we couldn't, we had to cut it to get it, be able to get it in. That was expected. Yes. Yes, it was. Two more. Two more. Then okay. we'll put a temporary floor back down. That'll be good. Well, there they're in place. They're not secured. They're not going to be secured. Well, they're going to have a sheathing over the top of it. Yeah, they're, these really are just a temporary fix. Well, they're the right floor joists. They're going to stay, but they're not in the exact position they need to be. All right. They're not coming back out, hopefully, but they've got to be rebricked and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. We're using the plywood here that was our walkway right here for a long time. So we're going to reuse that as a temporary floor for way over there in that area. It's a little bit too wide. Yeah. Oh. There we go. There's a piece of board right there in that walk board. This is a trim, we just don't know if they'll work, but... Alright. That will at least be a little more substantial.
girl. What are you doing? You being a good girl? She's done.